It's always a little scary opening up that shed after a long winter and seeing all of those unfinished fall projects piled up. So where do you start? You can start by recycling. So any of the pesticides and chemicals, bulbs and things like that do not go in your recycling bin. They should be brought down to us uh, separately and we can properly recycle them and dispose them through a different stream. And that waste stream is huge. Last year alone, over 50,000 gallons of paint were collected, blended, and made into new paint. It's a pretty simple equation. For every ounce that we can recycle, is one less ounce in the landfill. And even the really small stuff needs to be recycled, like this old thermostat with its tiny mercury-filled switch. And according to Dave, one drop of mercury like this can contaminate a 20-acre lake of water. And those switches have company. In these bulbs, there is a tiny drop of mercury along with an argon gas and phosphorus. Last year, 21 tons of those lamps were collected here and kept out of the Ava landfill. It does require that extra step of bringing it down to the facility, but... It's a win-win situation for everybody. If we can get that material out of the waste stream, we're not only protecting the environment, but we're actually recycling it, reusing it, and properly disposing it. The list of items that they accept is extensive, so before you stick something in that recycle bin, take a moment and visit their website and find out more. In Utica, Keith Hunt for News Channel 2.